Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about three ways you can feel more secure about your relationship. Remember when it comes to jealousy and relationships, doesn't matter if it's uh, general jealousy or retroactive jealousy, it all kind of stems back to the security, your own insecurity and the security in your own relationship. So here's three different ways that I feel like you can be able to make your relationship feel a bit more secure. And before we get started, guys, just a couple of things. If any of these videos have resonated with you, I'd really appreciate if you could like or subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to post more videos and get them out there to help everyone because I know for the people that has been helping, it's been helping them greatly. So now that we got that out of the way, let's start with uh, number one of our three ways to feel more secure in your relationship. Number one is stop comparing yourself to other couples. And if I had to almost choose one to wrap up the whole thing, it would be this one. Security or insecurity comes when you start comparing yourself to others your own insecurity and the security in the relationship. That can stem from, you know, social media. You, you see other couples online. They took this great vacation somewhere and they're taking selfies of themselves kissing and on a big yacht and all these things. And then you look at your own relationship and you think you don't have it as good because their relationship's better. Look at all those stuff, great stuff that they're doing. Wow, they're so in love and look at me. I don't feel any of that right now, right? Or I don't feel it as much. And you gotta understand that the social media game and things like this, it's not true, right? Everybody, nobody's perfect. Everybody has their own problems. They try to perceive themselves as being 100% perfect on social media. That's why social media is not the greatest thing for relationships, I like to think. Looking on social media at those things, it's, it's not gonna do you any good if you're actually comparing yourself to the other couple. So you need to basically just be you, right? You be you in your relationship. You guys need to do what feels good for you. If you feel like going out to dinner one night, if you feel like staying in and watching a movie, if you feel like you're in an argument and you need to hash it out, any cases, you need to be you and you need to not even think about what other somebody else would say. You need to not even think about how somebody else would react because they're gonna react in their own fears and say their own judgments, but what other people say don't even matter, right? So I like to say, pretend like you are the only couple left on the planet Earth. You and your partner are the only ones left on Earth. That's it, okay, it's just you. What would you guys do, right? There's nobody left to impress. There's nobody left to say anything to to make them feel a certain way or whatever. What would you guys do if there was no one else to impress? What car would you drive? Where would you get, what? Literally think about these things. What would you do if, if that was it? If it was just you two? And you could start living your life that way because really you cannot control what other people think, right? You cannot create in someone else's reality. So why let that bother you? Why let, why let insecurities and things like that of your own relationship based on what you think other people are, are thinking about you or doing? Why would you let that affect you, right? And that's a big one. I get it, it's not easy, it's not an overnight thing, but really think about that at times where you think you're comparing yourself to others and things like that. And I used to be big on this too. When I was first with previous girlfriends in the past or my, my current wife right now, uh, I would go specific places, take specific vacations in my mind just so I could take pictures and show people of, what a great time we're having or look how much money I have when I had like decent jobs and things like that. Literally, I would vacation to places just to show off, just to feel secure about myself because I was comparing myself to others and I'd see, hey, look at me, look at me. And it's absolutely toxic, right? Absolutely toxic because none of it's real. And you basically start living your life based on what other people think and it's no way to live. It's just gonna lead to more and more and more problems in your relationship. So again, just pretend it's you and your partner and that's it. There's no one left to impress in the world. It's just you two. What would you do? When you stop comparing yourself to others, you can actually start living the life and being in the relationship that you guys want to be in and not the one that you think you have to be in to impress everybody else. All right, and the next one, guys, is focus on the good things. Focus on the positive things. If 100 bad things happen in your relationship in one day, but only one or two good things, focus on the good things. And I'm not saying bad things that, you know, you were cheated on in this and that, like that sort of bad things. I just mean like little arguments, 
maybe your uh, partner came home from work and they had a long day and they were kind of short tempered and you guys got in a little bit of a heated argument. Sometimes couples will go days without talking to each other because of little petty arguments like this. And it's important when things like this happen to stop yourself and realize that this is just one instance or two instances or three instances and there's a million other things you could be grateful for right now. A million other things you could put your focus on right now. And if you continue to choose those higher perspectives in every situation, continue to see, you know, the good and the ugly or the, the, the beauty and the ugly, those type of things, the stronger your relationship is going to come, become, the longer lasting it's going to become, the more secure you guys are going to be, and the more your body, your brain, and everything is just gonna follow suit on the positivity, right? If you just think positive, positive things are going to happen in your life. If you continue to focus on positive aspects of your relationship, even when some days they're not so positive. But if you cannot be such a naysayer, focus on the good things, it's gonna translate into your physical reality too, right? It's gonna manifest into your relationship, the physical aspects, the mental aspects, all the aspects of it, just because you decided to stay positive and didn't dwell on those negative moments. And the last one, number three, in order to feel more secure about your relationship, is to touch each other, PDA, public displays of affection, everyone's favorite. Touching each other actually has some huge health benefits to relationships. Not a lot of people know this. Sometimes you need a physical manifestation of a emotional connection, we'll say, to bring it all together, right? To, to feel more secure. So I would say get handsy, right? Start touching each other. Start putting your arm around each other. Start cuddling more next to each other in bed, whatever the case is, don't lose that connection. Even if you have to force it, even if you've gotten to the habit of not touching each other, right? Force it. Even if it feels really uncomfortable, force it. Embrace the discomfort and force it because after two, three, four, whatever, five days of doing this, your brain is going to follow suit your brain is no longer going to reject this idea, right? It's going to be like, oh, it's going to feel what you were doing. It's going to feel that you're going to do this no matter what. And it's going to be on your side. So you're going to feel then all of a sudden that emotion. You're going to feel the confidence. You're going to feel the positivity. You're going to want to touch each other a lot more and more and more. That's the key is getting your brain on board. Your brain not all the time wants to wants to do it, right? It's against us in whatever ways. They're, it's so complicated, our brains. But if we act despite of how we feel because of what we want to do, again, your brain's going to follow suit. It's going to take a few days, but it's going to follow suit. So make a goal or something, either a mental, it, it doesn't have to be like sex. I've seen some couples do like, we're going to have sex for the next 30 days, regardless of anything, every single night, we're going to do it. I've seen some couples go a year um, and it's totally changed their relationship, right? And you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but, but making a commitment like, okay, every night we're gonna watch TV for an hour, I'm gonna have my arm around you. Or every night for the first 15 minutes that we lay down, uh, we're gonna spoon. Something like that, right? Something to just get that physical sensation, that touch going. And before you know it, that's gonna manifest into this strong emotional connection. Emotional connection bigger than I think you can even imagine. And it's going to bring on a much more secure blanket in your relationship as well. You're going to be the power couple, the confident couple, right? It's just going to, everything's going to follow suit once you can put that into play. So those are the three ways that I think that if you acted on them, you could feel a little more secure in your relationship. So again, one, stop comparing yourself to other couples. Two, just think positive all around, block out the negativity and just think about positive aspects of relationship. And three, start touching each other a little more, get handsy. Again, even if you don't wanna do it at first, do it anyway, your brain will follow suit. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Again, if anything resonates you, please like and please subscribe to the channel. If you do wanna be a member of the Retroactive Jealousy course, link is in the description, as well as the free Facebook community on Retroactive Jealousy, link below as well. 
Guys, once again, really, really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Once again, I'll have more videos to come. Until then, have a nice day. My name's Matt. See you in the next video.